this afternoon, we've just been holding on to some beautiful blue skies, not only in Fargo, but through a good portion of the valley. And that's just really helped to brighten things up on this first day of spring, our, our spring equinox today. And, and that just means we get equal day and equal night as the sun makes its path farther north here as we work our way toward uh, the spring and summer months. So we'll get more and more daylight here coming up over the next couple of months. So things are looking up for us. We're warming things up too in the valley as that sunshine is doing its work. This is a view of a visible satellite view. So we're looking directly down on the snowpack right now where you see movement here. That's some um, cloud cover moving in. It's go moving in over the Red Lake region. But elsewhere, all of this white, that's that snowpack still locked in. So we've been doing a little bit of melting lately, but it really hasn't been enough to really get that thaw going completely. A lot of what's happening is the snow's warming up. It's compacting. We're getting, you know, warmer and warmer in some of those snowpacks. So gradually, once we get a really warm day, we'll really start to melt things, especially as our temperatures stay above freezing overnight. And that's not going to happen just yet. We're still looking at an ideal melt and a, just a slow process with temperatures a few degrees above freezing right now in Fargo at 35. It's 34 in Grand Forks and over in Jamestown. Park Rapids at 40 degrees right now. That's the warm spot, uh, though m many places in our eastern viewing area into the upper 30s. We had our visibility dip pretty low in Park Rapids not too long ago, but it looks like we've got some improvement there. That's good to see. And the wind is picking up. A 22 mile per hour gust out of the north in Bemidji and 21 in Grand Forks. Elsewhere, we're looking at wind speeds into the teens, and we could see more gusts into the 20s as we head into the afternoon. So here's a look at your hour by hour planner. Pretty quiet weather, dry weather, which is key, and temperatures again that are warming above freezing. A high of 39 degrees today in Fargo, 34 in Grand Forks. Heading into tonight, those temperatures start to slide. We've got some partly cloudy to mostly cloudy skies developing around the 10 o'clock hour. We're starting to dip into the 20s and we'll start off the day tomorrow into the mid to upper 20s for most areas to begin your Thursday. So pretty quiet. Now there may be some fog again uh, tomorrow morning, depending on how much wind we end up with here. And then heading into the rest of the day, some partly cloudy skies again and temperatures rising even more. If we don't see 40 today in Fargo, we've got a good shot of getting there tomorrow and in other places, especially in the east where we've been warmer recently. So this just continues to be a warmer stretch for us during the daytime hours and colder at night. Here's our photo today. I love this one. A deer giving us a wink there. This is in Moorhead. Thanks, Donna, for sharing that with us. And we've got some warmer weather for many of us uh, as we head into the rest of the week. Friday looks great. 44 degrees your high. Saturday even will be a nice day. We'll see a high of 45. It's not until late in the day, probably Saturday night and into Sunday, where we have our next system approach. This one might be a little messy. We're talking rain and the potential for some snow mixing over or just a mixed bag of precipitation throughout the event that we're going to keep an eye on as it gets closer. Not a ton of moisture with this, but could add a couple of tenths of an inch of liquid moisture to the system with this one that moves through. Once that clears, we keep those milder temperatures. We'll be into the upper 30s to some low 40s to start off next week. And again, most days overnight lows dropping below freezing again. So a very slow uh, move into some melting mm -hmm. here for the week ahead. 40, 45? Pull up the shorts and sandals. I know. I mean, I'm loving the 30s. So yeah. the 40s, I think a lot of people are going to feel really great about that. I agree. Can't wait. Thank you, Lisa.